Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In this episode, it's time to confront Bellum once and for all and save the day. We shall save Tetra, the Ocean King, and everyone else. And really look at that, there's some earthquake. Something is brewing up there. And the stairs fall. Should have seen that coming. Oh no! The bridge is down, Link! We can't go back! Are you ready for this? Yes! But if you're worried, you can go back once and prepare. It's okay! I'm here for you, Link! And I'm with you too! I'm with you! Thanks, everyone! Hey, come on! Let's go, Link! Alright, so... We are ready! And all of the spirits are ready as well. And yeah, as you can tell, it's a blue portal. You don't want to take that portal because we're not leaving. We are only leaving with uh, Celia's memory back, Tetra back to normal, and the Ocean King with his powers back as well. So there's a lot on our plate. Let's go ahead and check out this. If you want to return to the entrance of the temple, step into the blue light. Yeah, I'm not going to do that like I said. So let's go ahead and make our way up these stairs. It is so exciting. The final stretch of the game. Uh, it just really hypes it up, so I am excited to do this. Alright, there's weird purple water, and uh, you can see the top of the screen is also a part of our, our vision. We can, like, see pretty high up, instead of having it just a map. And, oh my god, this is the tentacle creature. This is Bellum the Evil Phantom. Alright, here we go, the main villain of the game. It's time to take him on. Now, in the beginning, it's actually really simple. As you can tell, there are these weird cloud dust things that are surrounding him. You want to use your grappling hook to, like, kind of pick him off. And when you do that, you'll be able to pull uh, Bellum himself towards you. And then you'll be able to slash the eye. And you can also do that again. And just keep fighting it like this. This is what you want to do. You want to attack the eye because the eye is its weakness. And, and that shouldn't really surprise you because, like, every single Zelda enemy with an eye, uh, its main weakness is an eye. I mean, I can only assume anyone who would have a main weakness, it would be your eye because you can't really see without it. But this guy has a lot of eyes, so it, it's different. It's a different story here. The main weakness is the eye in the middle, obviously. So, as you can tell, tentacles also have eyes. It's one crazy thing. What you want to do is use your arrows for this part of the battle. Um, just hit all of the eyes on a tentacle, and I think we'll be good to go. So there we go. There's one more, and it's like dancing. You have to like run away from it for it to stop to do that. And as you can tell, it fell back into the water on the first floor. So it's time to run all the way down and, well, uh, do what we did earlier with our grappling hook. Um, so let's try to pull it towards us. And wow, that was actually some frame lag. Um, this is one giant room, so I guess it's understandable why your DS would lag, I guess. I don't know. I just notice it, and I, I'm usually surprised because Nintendo games don't really lag um, as often. But, yeah, I want to pull this guy to me. As you can tell, he also spawns weird babies that, like, fight you. We want to keep doing this. Rinse, repeat. <laughs> yeah! We're able to attack. Can we jump in the water? No, you can't. Okay. So it's a lot safer to attack it from the edge like this because you don't even have to worry about falling in the water. And once you do that, it looks like it's completely done, but it's not. There's more to the battle. I love the music that's playing, <laughs> let me tell you that. I didn't really get a chance to mention that, but the music is spectacular. Uh, it's something different. It doesn't even sound like a Zelda like boss battle theme. It just sounds different, which I like it. <laughs> so as you can tell right now, the eyes are closing and opening, which is going to make it a lot more difficult to actually hit him. You're going to have to wait for the perfect moment for the eye to open up. And when it does, you just need to shoot an arrow at it. Um, it doesn't really take that long for them to open up. If you just wait a little bit, you'll get your chance. So yeah, I believe it's going to be heading to the top floor now. Nope. It's going to try to crush you now, I guess, with its tentacles. With its weird eye tentacles. Right, let's go ahead and hit this one. I believe there's one more left. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see if we can find it. I be Yeah, it was the one that was, like, dancing around. So, I'm waiting for you. Hit! Oh, wow. I actually, like, knew that was going to happen. That was pretty cool. All right, now it's on the final floor, the third floor. As you can tell, 
more of these weird dripping eye gooey stuff are going to fall from the sky and try to block you while scaling up this area, but that's okay. They are generally easy to avoid. Who knew this temple was so freaking big though? It's ridiculous. <laughs> like, this alone should take a lot. Like, th if this was just a temple, it makes sense for the Temple of the Ocean King. But no, like, imagine all of the other rooms we'd like traverse through and all of that. Uh, it's one crazy adventure. It's huge. Uh, it's actually ridiculous how the temple is this big. All under the island of Merke. It's, it's almost hard to believe, but then again, we are fighting a giant tentacle monster with eyes. So, why am I questioning the logic of, of Zelda here? <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and shoot. Ah, come on. I had a good chance. Hit that eye. It's okay, though. We're just gonna go ahead and wait for it to not slam me with its tentacle eyes. Ow, it did it again. Oh, okay, we're good. And wait for another eye to open and you get ourselves another chance to, uh, you know, keep shooting at the eye. So, come on! Uh, I am waiting for this last shot. I believe this is the last one. Let's see. Just run around and make sure we don't get hit by those. Okay. Gonna get myself a good chance. Come on! Shoot it now. Okay, oh, also, yeah, the, as you can tell, they give you uh, arrows. All right, we're done. Look at that. Wh what's that? He just spit something out. Ew, why? I feel like I've seen that somewhere before. It reminds me of another time. Eek! What? What was that? I, I feel so strange. I... I wonder what that was. Sienna. Grandpa? That, that is the memory you lost. Long ago, Bellum attacked you, stealing your power and memories. Now, those memories have surfaced. You have them back. Ah! I remember! I remember it all now. I am Ciela, the spirit of time and courage. I finally remember everything! Alright, Ciela. Now it is time to deliver the final blow to Bellum. That monster still lives. To perform the last step. Ciela, I think you know what you need to do. Yeah, leave it to me! Alright, let's go, Link. I got my memory back. Soon you'll see what I can really do. Ha, huh, the... The spirit of courage and time sounds like uh, something familiar, but anyways, alright, we have a task ahead of us. It's time to make our way all the way down and deliver the final blow to Bellum. And thanks to Ciela, we'll be able to stop the time. And well, you look at that, yes, the stairs have broken, so it's hard to predict his wild movements. Uh, but it's okay, so as long as uh, we are... Uh, ready to fight him and things will be okay. I, I'm just ignoring the dialogue that Ciel is saying because I don't really care. Uh, basically what Ciel is going to do is with the power of the Phantom Argos, she will stop time. So basically we'll have the ability to stop time, but she has to uh, release these Phantom Spheres. Uh, and when she releases them, like right now, you'll find a Phantom Hourglass icon on the bottom of your screen. If you touch it and draw a Hourglass, uh, real quickly, you'll be able to stop time for a short period. So, let's go and do it! And I was really late to the party there, but it's okay. i wait for it to come rushing at me again, and I also failed again. But that's okay, it doesn't really matter how many hearts we lose here, because this is kind of like the final part. You also don't want to do it when Bellum is really far away from you, but as you can tell, you have like three full seconds to attack the eye as much as you possibly can. So we did it, we stopped time, and we were able to attack, uh, you know, Bellum, and there we go. Uh, we just need to wait for Ciela to create another Phantom Sphere. It takes some time, but once she does it, you want to make sure you pick it up and then do it again. The hardest part is actually like, drawing the Hourglass right before it's going to hit you. Um, and I'm just going to keep doing the spin attack here. Look at that. Oh my god, the damage we just dealt. Sadly, you get confused for a short second when that happens. But there we go. Right, let's go ahead and grab it and quickly draw it. No, I'm just slashing all over the screen. That is not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of bad at this. I'm really bad at drawing the hourglass. It's just more of an eight. Like, I think she actually tells you to draw a eight figure on this screen and you'll be fine. Um, I'm just doing it really badly. So let's go ahead and try it now. All right, that was perfect. 
And we're done. We were like one hit away. I guess since we did that amazing spin attack combo, we were able to deal a bunch of damage. So there we go. Bellum has been defeated. Look out! The ceiling is cracking, Link! The exit is blocked! What do we do? Hey, old man, come and look at this for a second. Old man! Oof! Ouch! What's going on? Look who it is, falling out of the sky on my head! Work on where you teleport people, old man! So, the one that got us out of the temple... That was you, Grandpa? Yes, it was me. The two of you have done well. It's not gone, but the seal holding me is weakening. My power was restored enough to bring you here. Hey, kid! Wake up and look at this, Link! <gasps> Tetra's going to be okay, right, Grandpa? Ha! Huh. Very well done, Link. After you slew Bellum, I used some of my power. And focused it on Tetra. It seems to have worked. She is recovering nicely. I think she will be fine. It seems you have done it, Link. I owe you a big thanks, Link. Since I got on that ghost ship, I've been dreaming. I know that you saved me, Link. I saw everything. Oh, Hugh! Looks like you're going to be fine! It's nice to meet you. Thanks for saving me, Ciela. Oh, no, no! I didn't do a thing! It was all Link! Ahem! Um, ahem! Thank you too, Linebeck. I'm grateful for everything. Oh no, it was nothing, really. Pretty standard. No way I was gonna let these two go it alone. It was too dangerous. I had to step in and help out. What are you talking about? You left all the dangerous stuff to Link! What happened? That wasn't good. What's going on? I don't know. Oh no! Everyone outside!
What is that monster? That's Bellum! But how? I thought we defeated him! Look! Look at Tetra! So he was still alive. So that is why my power isn't fully restored. The squiddy thing is getting away! Hey, did he just possess the ghost ship? We have to chase after him. I'll take the wheel. Prepare to mend the cannon, Link. Well, 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 that definitely was not something we expected. Honestly, the first time I played this game, I was like chilling back. I'm like, I beat the game, and then I see Bellum pop out of nowhere and just kidnaps Tetra away. It's pretty hilarious, I'll tell you that, but now we're in a, like, sequence where we have to battle the ghost ship from our ship, from Lineback's ship, rather. So, yeah, Lineback has the wheel, as you can tell, we don't have to set any route or anything. You have to be careful, because the uh, HP your ship has affects you, of course. You don't want to end up dying trying to chase uh, the ghost ship, of course. So, what we want to do is focus down the eyes as much as you possibly can. Uh, you can pick up hearts from destroying the eyes or these weird things it shoots at you, so that's okay. You don't really have to worry about, like, losing all your HP on this battle. Um, but just continuously attack the eyes. Uh, this is honestly super crazy how Bellum just goes and kidnaps things. Honestly, I was fishy, though. Like, the first time I played this game, I'm like, really, is it over? Why, like, didn't the Ocean King get all of his power back? It was weird. And it, it just it came out of nowhere, and it was really awesome. And I love this, and I love how they incorporated a, like, on-boat battle. Because this is a huge part of the game. This plays a lot in the mechanics of the game. So, it's nice that they have a full battle based off of this. I think, honestly, it's really cool. The music that's playing as well is awesome. All these, like, boss battle musics is really nice. Um, I believe this is actually music that is played for, uh when you do online battles and like multiplayer stuff in the game that's also a feature within the game i never got into but um let's just keep attacking the ship as much as we possibly can and try not to lose any health luckily it's giving us a bunch of hp back for um destroying these things right before they hit us i'm trying to dish out as much damage as i possibly can but my 3ds isn't close enough to me to where i can really look at things because the eyes are rather small and it's hard to actually hit them exactly with your cannon but look at this guy taking everything for a moment taking the 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 adventure that we had and just look at the great sea it's really nice uh, it's just great to reminisce <laughs> and yeah i don't know to me this is exciting and this is a great way to end off the the finale right before the finale the pre-finale here to the game so we're just gonna have to keep you know throwing cannons at the ship as much as we possibly can i think we're good uh, we just have to hit the eye behind the ship if I can. There we go. Come on. There we go. I hit him. All right. We are doing well. Now, I believe inside the ship, I should appear. Uh, yeah, I believe they're going to appear right now. Yep. Well, you look at that. They are. And they're shooting a bunch of these weird purple slimy things at us. So let's try to hit them as soon as possible if I can. I just need to aim at them. There we go. We're hitting them. There's one more left. Can I hit it? Yes, we did it. I think that's it, guys. The ship is now exploding. Alright guys, it's time to land on the ship. Okay, let's climb aboard. But wait, before you do that, this would be dangerous. Shouldn't you save first? Nope. No time to throw caution to the wind. Save, kid! Okay, Landbeck, I get it. I just don't want to save. Jeez. Fine. Come on then, let's climb aboard.